Hi, I'm Martin from Multipipe, and today I'd like to have a talk to you about uh, replacing flow meters. Now, it's always annoying when you've got a leaking or damaged flow meter and it needs to be replaced. Now, we do have a separate video that talks about manifold um, upgrade and maintenance where you may wish to remove the flow meter to clean the glass or remove any debris, and that's on a separate maintenance video. But for flow meter replacement where you've either got damaged or leaking and you want to put a complete new unit in place, this is the simple video to show you how to do that. So make sure the underfloor heating is turned off, all the controls are turned down and your pump stopped and your zone valve is closed. And then what we're going to do is isolate the manifold using the isolation points top and bottom on the manifold. We'll close these off. And once we've closed off and isolated the manifolds, we just need to depressurize the manifold using the fill and vent ports at the end here. So if you just remove the key off the end of the fill and vent ports, you can just discharge into a bucket. I just use a little washing machine hose that connects nicely onto the top here. And then using the key, just open the fill and vent ports just to depressurize. And once we've depressurized the manifold then, all we need to do is lift off the cap, use a spanner then just to remove the flow meter. Make sure your replacement is the same type, in this case, same multi-pipe use. And then just reinstate the new flow meter just tighten them up there with a spanner, nip them up to the manifold. We're just going to close off our fill and vent port here. Remove the hose pipe, reinstate the cap on the end there, and the final things to do then is reinstate the flow and return. And finally, bleed the manifold. So after we've replaced this flow meter now, it's important to set the flow rate for the loop length. And uh, from 2021, Multipipe launched the homeowner's pack, which will have clear and simple instructions how to follow for the installer and what flow rate to set. And on this particular, uh, particular loop from the homeowner's pack, we can identify that it requires 2.75 liters a minute for this kitchen dining loop. So just remove the cap. We're gonna open the flow meter then to achieve that required flow rate of 2.75 liters a minute. And once we're happy and we've set that flow rate, we can just lock the flow meter back in position with a locking cap. And now we'll set the flow rate. So we've replaced it, set it correctly, and we've got an up-to-date system. Great, thanks for watching. See you next time.